Today I'm going to show you how easy it is to solve exponential equations with bases not found on your calculator. As a refresher, I've written down the definition of a logarithm. The log base b of a number n is equal to x if and only if n is equal to b to that power of x. So log base b of n is really asking what power should I put in the exponent of b, so b to that power will give me n. What one will work? That's what it's asking. If you don't remember what a logarithm is or if you want a refresher about the definition, click here or check the links provided below to see the video about it. Let's start with an easy example using a base not found on your calculator. Now first of all, how do you know which bases are found on your calculator? Let's take a look. Here on your calculator, you'll see two places where you have something that looks like a logarithm. The first one no you notice has log base 10, and the other one sort of looks like logarithm, but it's written as ln. When we write ln, we mean the natural logarithm, which means the base is taken to be e. If you don't know what e is, e is a very important number in mathematics. Here it is on the calculator. It shows us that it's approximately 2.718. So for our example, I'm going to use the base 3, which we now know is not found on our calculator. Here's my exponential equation. 3 to the power of x equals 81, and I want to solve for x. So by definition, I know that x should be the logarithm base 3 of 81. That's just by definition, and I'm not stuck yet because even though my calculator doesn't have base 3, my head still works, so I can think through a few examples. If I take 3 to the power of 1, I only get 3. 3 to the 2 gives me 9, 3 to the 3 gives me 27, but haha, -ha, 3 to the power of 4 gives me 81. And so just by thinking it through, I already know that x should be equal to 4. But that's not very helpful because I just did that in my head. What if I have a harder example where it won't work to do it in my head? Let's say 3 to the power of x equals 90. Now I know my answer should be a little bit bigger than 4 because if the right hand side was 81, the answer would have been 4. But I don't know how much bigger. So let's write down by definition what we know. By definition, x should be log base 3 of 90. How on earth are we going to calculate that? There's two ways to do this. The first way is to use the change of base rule. So let's work through that first, and then I'll show you the second way. I've written down most of the rule for the change of base. The reason why I've written down most of it is because I want to show you a key way to remember it. If you have log base b of a number n, and base b is not something on your calculator, so you want to change the base into a nice base that you know is on your calculator, such as e or 10, then you can do it like this. I've chosen the example of 10, but it works for any base. You could have log base a for any other number a if you wanted to. The key thing is to write down the base that you want, so that's why I have log base 10, and you also have to write it down on the bottom. You have to divide by another log base 10, or log base whatever it is your new base is. Now what do you put inside the brackets? I've left these empty on purpose. The way you can remember what to put in the brackets is the number on top is the big number on top, n. The number on the bottom is the little number on the bottom, the base. And there you have it. That's your change of base rule. So let's take a look at our example. Log base 3 of 90, we now can write in terms of base 10. Remember that when you're changing bases, it doesn't matter what base you go into. I just chose to go into base 10. But often, we would like to go into base e because the natural logarithm is really useful to work with. When I use the change of base rule and I go into base e, we don't write log with a little e underneath. Instead, we write ln. So when I use the change of base rule and I'm using base e, I just write ln of n divided by ln of b. So let's check this on our calculator. If we use base 10, we'll have log base 10 of 90. So we have to type 90 and then log base 10. Now we divide by 3, 
log base 10, and we get our answer. Our answer is 4.0959. So we were right to assume that x should be slightly bigger than 4. Now let's calculate it again, but using the natural logarithm, base e. 90 natural logarithm divided by 3 natural logarithm. Again, we get 4.0959. So it works. Now I want to show you that there's a faster method to get to the same answer. This is our original equation. 3 to the power of x equals 90. Now instead of using the definition and going straight away into base 3, what I'm going to do is say, okay, I know that taking a logarithm of both sides is going to undo the exponentiation. It's like when I have a multiplication and I divide, I'm undoing the multiplication. So what I'm going to do is take a logarithm of both sides and I can choose the base that I like. Now, as a mathematician, I like the base e. So I'm going to take the ln of both sides. Now, if you remember your logarithm rules, you know that if you have a logarithm of some number to a power, you can just pull the power to the front. So I can write this left-hand side down like this. Now, x times ln 3 equals ln 90. If you don't remember this rule, click here or check out the previous video in the links below to find out why that rule works. Now we're almost done. What is x? All we have to do is divide both sides by the ln of 3. And look at that. We have exactly the same answer that we would have gotten if we had first used the definition and then used the change of base. So you can do either way. You can use the definition and then change of base, or you can just choose to take the ln of both sides or the log base 10 of both sides. You'll always come out to the same answer. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned for more updates. See you next time. In the purple box, that that's the same exact thing as saying that n is equal to.